Then for the first time, they'll really give a description out uh, from, the, from the window, looking out the windows of the lunar module, and take some pictures out uh, the window. Uh, then uh, they go through a hour of uh, uh, an eat period, they have breakfast in other words, and uh, then prepare their equipment for the first walk on the moon, which is scheduled for 8.53 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, by the time they get down the steps and get the color television camera turned on, it should be about five minutes after nine uh, Eastern Standard Time. CBS News color coverage of this third landing on the moon continues in a moment. The nautical miles in the command module and uh command module, and uh, at that time he maneuvered his spacecraft so he could install this lunar topographic camera, which is commonly referred to as the HICON camera. It's a very high resolution camera, weighs about 75 pounds, and it mounts in special brackets on the hatch window. So Stu maneuvered the vehicle, so this camera was looking at the limb while it was landing, and he was activating this camera, taking these high resolution photographs, which uh, should very easily show the lem up during its landing uh, sequence. So when Stu gets back, hopefully we'll have some good still photographs uh, showing the lem uh, landing cycle. Uh, this camera also has a motion compensator in it, uh, Walter, which compensates for the uh, velocity of the vehicle around the moon. We're going about 3,200 miles an hour, so as we snap each uh, photograph, the insides of this camera actually move slightly to take all the blurring effect due to the velocity of the vehicle. So uh, Stu's been very busy besides uh, listening very intently to the landing process. He was also trying to record it on photographs. And that's about it from the command module, Walter. Well, uh, Leo, uh, uh, that's the camera that they were a little worried about. They really don't know, but uh, Stu has reported that he hears a funny clicking inside that camera when he fires it off. And uh, like some of us uh, with uh, our own uh, still cameras where we've heard strange noises and later found the film wasn't uh, engaging the sprocket and other such problems. Uh, there's some concern, I gather, in Houston that that may be happening in this camera. Uh, that's right. We're investigating that back at North American right now with uh, the people that have run the tests on this camera, but we are sure that it's putting film through. We have a film counter, a frame counter, and it is putting the film through, so it's probably taking the photographs okay. Uh, there's a possibility the squeaking sound may be because of slightly low voltage, and it might be the motion compensator in there that, that's causing this, but uh, I think the consensus of opinion right now is that we are getting photographs from it. Now, he's also got another camera that he can take pictures of the landing site. In fact, we'll be taking some other pictures of that uh, Apollo 16 planned landing site, I gather, Leo. Is that right? That's right. He also has Hasselblads, as we, which uh, we've used in the past. Wally can explain those, but we also have those mounted in the windows, and we're mm -hmm. taking photographs uh, simultaneously. I was just thinking, Leo, looking at the size of this monster they have there, the Hasselblad I had on Apollo 7 didn't work. We had to take it apart. We put nose cream in there to lubricate it, and it started to work again. I don't think we can do that with this Hikon. <laughs> you put nose cream in? To, uh, Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny how these, uh, these stories of uh, what really goes on in outer space eventually uh, are extracted from you fellas. <laughs> Did I tip my Somebody's going to write the history someday of manned space flight, and it's going to turn out it's not these $400 million worth of equipment. It's nose cream and uh, other such <laughs> items that have uh, kept the, the program flying. CBS News color coverage of the flight of Apollo 14 continues.